copper being poured out. Now you may be wondering why I was like, huh, why I built all these. That will become apparent very shortly, because we're going to need that lead in order to build our fluid duct. Um, but again, like I said, we only have four, so how are we going to do that? Well, this is where this comes in. Uh, what we'll be able to do is um, we'll be able to uh, create a pattern for uh, um, uh, create a pattern for the ingot and then once we create a pattern for it we'll create a prototype and we'll melt some metal around it and that'll create um, our um, cast uh, in order to um, uh, in order to pour that in, and we'll be able to essentially create uh, ingots one to one, um, as opposed to creating everything by block. Um, so it'll actually be two ores, or I'm sorry, one ore for two ingots. Um, all right. So how do we do that? So um, the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to go over to the stencil table. And what we're going to need is some more patterns, which we'll need sticks and we'll need planks. And let's just make some more planks just so this makes it easier. And we need a lot of these patterns, so I'm going to use up the rest of our wood here to make patterns. Okay. Alright, so what pattern do we need? Well, we're going to need the ingot pattern. Ah, that's because there is not an ingot pattern, now that I remember. What you actually have to do is take an ingot. Right, so <clears throat> so the thing that um, I, you have to make your uh, pattern, your metal patterns out of, which is what we're going to be making, um, is actually um, uh, I believe it's called cast aluminum, or not cast aluminum, um, aluminum bronze. That's what it's called. All right, so if we take these two back and let's glance through them really fast here and see if we can find what we're looking for here so um, this is all the items that we can make but we'll get back to these in a moment here so what we're gonna need is nope not in this book uh, yeah it's in here okay Okay, aluminum brass. That's what we're going to need. So we're going to need three aluminum to one copper. And uh, so what we'll do is we'll take uh, and that three to one, That those numbers mean uh, ingot levels. Okay? So if you remember that one ore uh, equals, uh, equals two, uh, two ingots. What we'll want to do is double those up. So, again, aluminum brass is three aluminum for one copper. So we'll need six aluminum and two copper, which won't make enough uh, to make blocks out of, but it will be enough to make a whole lot of um, a whole lot of. Uh, um, casts for which we're going to need in a moment here so let's take the two copper and then we need six aluminum okay 
And let's go smelt that. While that's smelting, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to move this faucet since we don't have any more seared bricks and this lever. And we're going to want to put it over here. This will allow us to um, to use this strain uh, instead of the other one since we're going to be creating single ingots at a time of, of, of stuff. So to, to put things onto this table, you just have it in your inventory. So we'll take one iron ingot and we'll put it on there. Okay. So we'll wait for the rest of this to melt and then turn to an alloy. And you'll see that that pink is, is actually aluminum. We're waiting for the copper to finish melting and boom, it makes an alloy. So then what you want to do is pour around the ingot and you'll see that it uh, comes very quickly and there we go. Now we have an ingot cast, okay? And we'll right click to get that back in our inventory. So you right click on the ingot cast to put it onto the table and we'll make some ingots of, uh, of aluminum brass. And if there's any left over, which I don't think there will be, but we'll see in a moment here. I'll show you how to take care of that as well. Okay, and what this aluminum brass that we're going to hold on to is going to be good for is when we go to make tools, the tools are actually, if we look in the, uh, if we look in the other book, the materials in U2 book, um, you'll see that when I scanned through earlier, that all these items are made from different parts, okay? And what's great about using these is you can make a tool out of multiple materials and each material has a different effect on the actual um, item you're making so for example um, you could have a pick that has a slime rod uh, made from slime balls and a um, obsidian head with a paper binding and um, it will use the you know the uh, the toughness of the materials that you make to essentially like cobble together um, the stats for the item, which in this case that would actually make for a really nice pick. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to create is off uh, because we have it available. There are a number of um, materials that you can make it out of. But we're actually going to make it out of uh, Ardite, which is right here. Um, and that is actually not so bad. Or, I'm sorry, not Ardite. Where is it? Yeah, no, it is Ardite. Um, and this will, you know... I know it's Ardite. No, it's not Ardite, I think. Uh, let's look at the other one again here. That shows us all the alloys that we're, that we're looking at here. Alamite, that's what it is. Aluminum, iron, and obsidian. But first we're going to have to make something else in order to mine the obsidian. But I'll go through all this stuff probably next episode as far as that goes. Um, but, um, yeah, so let's see here. My bad. Let's not make a cast of a book. Um, let's see here. 
There we go. Is there any material left over? Oh yeah, there's still material in there. Let's get all of this out. And that way, once we do this, we can then pour in... Um, once we get all this material out, we can put all of the lead in here. I do run a risk here of not having enough. There we go. I think that is all of the... Yep, all of that came out. I said that right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take lead, and we're going to put the lead in there. Uh, yeah, and we're actually going to smell all of this lead. I'm sure I grabbed it. I thought I grabbed it. Nope, I must have moved it somewhere else in the chest. Okay. I did. Okay. Alright. And as we wait for that to... Uh, to go, we're going to play with Puppy a little more. Hey Puppy, you want an ingot? Fetch. There you go. Here, have another one. Here's another one. There you go. Can you catch a bunch? Oh, there he goes. see has it melted yet there we go all right so lead has melted and let's get ourselves some uh, lead ingots we're gonna have ten of these and while the next one cools I'm actually gonna look and see how much lava we have left here so we have 3100 millibuckets left in here so we've le used less than one bucket of lava for everything we've done so far. It's actually quite efficient. When you think about how much uh, how much coal you use in an average uh, smelter or average furnace, um, you know, it's eight for every stack, eight coal for every stack of item that you put in it. Um, this just comes out way ahead. Considering that lava is, I wouldn't say, it's nearly a renewable resource. Uh, this is just a hands-down winner. And the fact that this doubles your ores, yeah, this is absolutely a winner. So that, by my calculations, should be all of the lead. So let's go over here and look. And yep, no lead in there. Okay, so now we can make our fluid ducts. And since we only need, s oh, I don't have any copper ingots, I have copper blocks. There we go. Okay. So three ingots make six of these, so we only need six for the moment. So we're going to get rid of all that and just have six. Okay. So fluid ducts um, act as a way of passage for... Uh, um, fluid to go from one place to another. So for right there, we're going to put one there. And we're going to place one over this drain. And then we're also going to place one going from this tank to this tank. And you'll see almost immediately, once we set this tank... Oh, I'm sorry. So we set this fluid duct, which you'll change over some of these with the crescent hammer here. Uh, that now pulls that out of there and puts it into there, I thought. Oh, because this is set to input. You need to set this to output. There we go. Okay. So that um, 
by gravity uh, pulled into there and went into there, and now we're back up to full Ooh. inside of here, and you can see now that we're at 1,100 extra storage. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to set these so that, because um, they don't, they won't automatically pull things out just like the le the other things do, or just like the the faucets did. We have to set these so it actually kind of vacuums the material out. And in order to do that, you have to right click on um, the section with the crescent hammer. And you'll see that um, it glows red um, when it grows. Mm. It'll, it'll it'll look like this at first, um, and that because that's and it's unpowered. You can make something called a servo to put it in there so that it will work without the redstone power. Um, but for right now, we, we actually do want to set it so it, we can power it on and off. Um, and basically right next to it, you just need to build the lever. And there you go. You can turn it on and off. Uh, also, you can also turn it so that it will pull from the table or basin. This will come in useful if I, for example, um, just dump a whole lot of liquid into into here or into here without any like math involved, and for whatever reason it doesn't fill the casting basin. Well, then what I can do is I can set um, that to red, and then uh, that to clear, and give it the redstone power, and it will suck the fluid out of the casting basin that, that can't um, cool, put it back in here, and then I can move it and put it onto the, t the casting table instead. Okay. So that is the fluid duct. Alright, so what I was going to do now is I was going to make a quick tool. And so let's look at the materials that we have in order to determine what we can make. Um, so let's look at our mighty smelting here and see what kind of recipes we can make here. All right, um, so we can't really make anything obsidian because we don't have any obsidian yet. Um, and we can't make this because we don't have ardite or cobalt because we haven't been to the nether yet. Um, our best bet is probably going to be diamond, but I just want to make sure that that is the case before we actually do that. Um, let's look at the materials in you. And if we move past all these... Oh, and by the way, we're going to be making a pick in, a, in this episode. So a pickaxe head, a tool rod, and a tool binding. Um, I already know that I want to make the tool rod uh, out of uh, slime. Uh, the tool binding I'm not really so sure about because I don't have access to paper at the moment. So uh, I'm not sure what that's going to be, but we'll figure that out. Um, and then, uh, so let's see here, skip ahead. Um, wood has a really bad durability um, and a really bad mining level, and it doesn't really affect our speed. Okay, same with iron and stone. <laughs> Oh, and this mining level is important. Uh, so what we're looking for is something that will have the mining level for obsidian. Uh, and so let's just skip ahead and see what that is. So obviously uh, obsidian, which we don't have. Uh, stone, stone, stone. Actually cobalt and uh, obsidian I believe is uh, three. So any, actually anything above a, a mining level three will work. Uh, so cobalt, ardite, which we, all of these we don't have access to. But we do have access to steel. Steel might be the one we make it out of. Steel has a relatively high durability compared to other things. Um, and, um, and actually it will, it actually gives us a material trait reinforced, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, we can make pig iron, but we don't have the blood to make that and I'd rather not um, have to kill pigs just so I have um, items so we'll make steel so we'll figure out how to make steel real quick by looking at the smelting here 
And let's find out what the recipe for steel is. Not listed. That's because it's a hidden item, I believe. So we'll look it up in the items here. So steel, which I believe, yeah, we'll see molten steel. Uh, so it'll tell us here. Nope, it totally does not. Um, steel. Nope. It does not tell us how to make that. Hmm. Well, we'll have to rethink things here for a moment. I think diamond is what we're going to make it out of. Now that I think about it, we have excess diamonds. We don't have excess diamonds. We have some diamonds. Um, and, you know, normally, you know, in a vanilla game, when we used to play um, a couple years ago, um, three diamonds would just make a pick. But instead, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make a, pa a stencil uh, pattern here, and we need the... Uh, remember, it, we need a tool rod, we need a, um, a pick head, and a binding. So, let's see, that's knife blade. There we go. That's the tool rod pattern. And that is the pickaxe pattern. And then we need a binding is the small x. Yep, there we go. And if you look over this, um, when we there's a material cost. And that is how many of whatever you're making it out of it will cost. So if we make a pickaxe head out of diamond, it's only going to cost us one diamond to make that pickaxe head. So where do we make that? In the tool station. Okay, so you put the pattern that you want to make here, which... Oh, Actually, there we go. Uh, I didn't grab the diamonds like I grabbed other things. Uh, okay. Did I... Where did they go? Oh, they're right there. Okay. Okay, so... And the part builder is what we need. We'll put the pickaxe head pattern down, and we'll drop a diamond in there. That didn't work, because that's not how you do it. Okay. <laughs> Remember what I said in episode one, that you're going to be learning along with me? So we're going to learn. What materials can we make this stuff out of? Uh, obviously that won't work. Yeah, I really want to make the alamite, but I can't because of the obsidian. I might have to just create a diamond pick the old-fashioned way, get some uh, obsidian, and then come back. So why don't I use this opportunity then to make that diamond pick? I'm going to get way more diamonds in this later in the game, so we'll make the diamond pick now. Let me go ahead and put these patterns into the pattern chest. And drop everything else off. And we'll go uh, mine a couple of things of obsidian here. Again, we're probably going to have to go one more episode before we make the actual tools that we'll want, but we'll want these buckets. 
Okay, and actually we need to get water first here. Oh, but we know there's water down there. So, um, luggage, you're going to become uh, an item for the moment. Okay, so let's go down here to our lava field. Really like doing this with half a heart. That's really going to be fun. And really smart. 